So in this series of learning C programming, we are discussing functions in C. In the previous video, what we have discussed? How to return a pointer from a function, right? Now in this video, I have taken this example, one you know question that came in gate 2010. This is what call by reference example. This is what call by reference method we are calling the function by passing the address. So that is call by reference method. And I have posted this question on my community and see these are four option. And 48% students are saying that answer is 2, 1. So let us find out you are saying correct or not. But before that just want to tell you one thing. If you are preparing for gate or will be preparing for gate 2022 exam then an academy is conducting a combat. It is like India's largest weekly scholarship test for gate aspirants and it would be conducted on 26th of September. In this contest you will get 20 question and time limit would be 60 minutes and all the questions would be very challenging and original gate question that has been curated by the best educators at an academy. So here you will get a chance to go head to head with thousands of learner from all over India and you will also come to know where you are standing. You can analyze your performance. You can see how you rank against the others from all over India with a live leaderboard that shows a real time ranking after every question. So better to take it live to compete with the best. And if you take it live, you can also you know get a chance to win 100% scholarship and some other awards also. Obviously, if your rank is you know good, so you can find out the detail of this thing on the screen. And one more thing, after every contest, you will get detailed video solutions provided by their experts so that you can identify your weak area and you can improve according to that. And you can get it right next time. And you can take this test for free you just have to enroll it and the enrollment link I will put in the description box of this video just go to that link scroll down and pick up the right test for you and just click enroll and use my code JKL10 to unlock the combat. So the enrollment link of this combat you will find in the description box of this video you can go and check out. So let us discuss now this question. See what you have to do while solving these type of question you just have to follow the steps first of all control will go where in the main function right in main function we have what the first line is function calling. So it is function calling when when control will go to the main function obviously some memory would be allocated to main right and now the first line is what function calling. So function calling means now the control will go where in the definition of this function. So now this function will also get some memory like one stack frame for this main and one stack frame would be held for this f function. So he here we are having we are passing address of i and address of j but where are this i and j c this thing is very important. This is where I am initializing declaring this i and j but this i and j is within this function no within main no they are outside it means these are global global variables and there is some memory for static and global variables because the lifetime of static and global variables are throughout the program. You can access these variables in main function also in this function also in any function you can use these variables these are globally declared right. So somewhere in memory we have i and j i is 0 and j is 1 these are not within these functions they are globally declared. So you can access these variables throughout the program right this thing is very important. Now we are passing address of i suppose address of i is 100 and this is 200 we are passing 100 and 200 so here we are having some pointer sorry not in main we in f we are having two pointer to accept these addresses p and q in p we are having 100 and in q we are having 200 so now this p is pointing to here this q is pointing to here I hope you got this right. Now within this function what we are doing p is equal to q now whatever the value in q that would be assigned in p so in q we are having 200 200 would be assigned in p so that is here we have 200. Now this p is also pointing to where here both p and q are pointing to j now there is no pointer which is pointing to i now I hope you are getting my point. Now next is asterisk p is equal to 2 asterisk p means using indirection operator we are accessing the value the value at whatever the address in p in p we are having address 200 value at 200 value at 200 is this one 1 so here we are changing the value from 1 to 2 that 2 would be we are assigning at this value so now j becomes 2 now control will go here exit from the function and now 
we will go back to here where we are calling this function right. Now see after this what we are doing print f percentage d i and j we are printing value of i and j. Now what value would be printed you tell me i and j these are globally declared we can access these variable here and using pointer we have modified these values we have modified only obviously j value not i value. So, whatever the value of i value of i is still 0. So, it will print 0 and 2 that is it. So, what would be the answer this one 0 and 2 and only 20 percent 20 percent students are saying that answer is 0 and 2 only 20 percent students are correct means majority of you are wrong. What are you doing? You are not able to answer a simple question. You have to just you know follow the steps only and you have to read every line of the program very carefully, very carefully. And if you are a beginner, I have told you better to you know draw something like this, a visual representation. Do not just see the question and try to find out the answer in your brain only and yeah answer is 2 1. No, that is why see answer is simple, sorry the question is very simple but tricky one. It is simple right but I do not know why you are getting the wrong answer maybe you you just you, you are not following the procedure like I you know draw this this thing and this thing and then solve the question that is why I think you know many students think that gate, gate exam is very tough exam is not tough questions are not very tough of that level questions are little bit tricky you have to just carefully read every line of the code that is given. So, the correct answer is 0 2. So, now you can run it and see are you getting a 0 2 or not. So, I will see in the next video till then bye bye take care.